It's the morning show with Brad and Jackie on the phone with us right now is Jason Cameron. Jason Cameron is coming to the Southern Idaho Home and Garden Show this coming weekend. He's been on everything from Guiding Light to TLCs while you were out, Man Caves, Sledgehammer. We're excited to have you. Jason, how are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? We're really good, thanks. We're excited. Have you ever been to Southern Idaho before? Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> I've been there, but to be honest with you, I don't remember what year it was, but I have been to Idaho. I can't remember, the, I can't remember which mountain I was at or which um I'm guessing you were there. probably in Sun Valley. That's one of our best. That's what it was. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, well, Sun good. Valley. Well, then welcome back. We're excited to have you. You're going to be at the Home and Garden Show this weekend um, giving us some advice. And all of us could use some DIY advice because we've all had those projects that, oh, this will just take a half an hour. And then before you know it, it's like two weeks in. Yeah, I mean, that happens all the time. I talk to people all the time. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to do this little project. I don't really understand, you know, how much is involved. And all of a sudden they get over the, in over their heads and, you know. Mm-hmm. But it happens. I think the, the more research you do, the better. The more time you spend in planning, the better. Yeah. Because if you just jump into something and think, you know, you hope for the best, it's never going to end up that way. So uh, I always tell people, whether it's on the show or my own, you know, my own career, is the more time you spend researching and the more knowledge you arm yourself with, the better. Now, we know that you're an extreme expert at this stuff, but we want to know if there's ever been a project that you've done that has just been a nightmare. What project was that? Is there anyone that sticks out in your mind? Um, yeah, there's been a few uh, <laughs> that stick out. There's been, uh, there was one in particular that was uh, America's Most Desperate Landscape that we did. We do one every year, and uh, we, got, we showed up, and I wanted to turn around and leave just because the contractor that was there before has completely demolished the place. And oh, left man. a mess in his wake. So we had to cl- not only clean that up, but we had to completely transform the space. So that was a challenge. Um, and then the USO tent, we went to Kuwait uh, to help the USO, uh, you know, with their tent at Camp Virginia in Kuwait for the soldiers. And that was a huge challenge uh, in 130 degree heat. So that was probably the one that sticks out in my mind the most. Oh, my gosh. How long were you there for in that weather? We were there for a week. Oh. And uh, trust me, we, we, and I, that's why I have nothing but respect and admiration for the troops because of what they go through. So I was there for a week and I was ready to go. I can imagine, you know, what they go through in full gear and they're in that temperature. Amen to that. We have uh, the utmost respect for our troops. I'm glad to know that you're on board with that as well. So about the home show, what specifically are you going to be doing? Are you going to be answering all of our questions? I mean, lots of us don't know what we're doing when it comes to DIY projects. So we want to know how you can help us this weekend. Oh, well, I'll be answering any questions they have, uh, you know, whatever question I can answer, and then also going over a, a PowerPoint of what I do and the shows that I do and uh, how we go through the process, because they'll learn a lot from that, what we do to prepare, what we do to uh, actually transform these spaces. So there's a lot to be learned there. But, yeah, I mean, I'm more than happy that, you know, it's, that's what it's all about, is meeting people that watch the show and answering questions. Well, perfect. I want to talk a little bit about your background. You have done quite a lot in your lifetime, everything from gathering wood when you were 13 to being <laughs> on, you know, Guiding Light and some other soap operas. And then TLC is where I know you from, which is while you were out. But I didn't realize that you had an appearance on Sex in the City. Can you please tell us what your role was on that? Well, I don't want to give away too much because this is a story <laughs> I tell on stage. Um, oh, but okay. It was, uh, it, was an, it was a great opportunity, which ended up on the cutting room floor, and that's all I'll say for right now. But that's really what happens a lot. You know, you get great opportunities that come up in your career, and they don't always end up the way you want them to. So that was one. But it's a funny story. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I'd rather hold that one for the stage presentation because it's a funny story. Okay, I'll make sure to go to the stage presentation <laughs> to find the rest of the story. Our listeners, you guys can do that too. Make sure you check out when Jason Cameron's going to be at the home show. You can get that at KZJ.com. Jason, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us today. My pleasure. Great talking to you.